Get on, Brendan Wing. That is FB Tilly. That's our latest boat. A lot of thought and a lot of planning went into that boat and why we chose it. And there's a ga whole gamut of reasons which we'll explain in future videos. But right now, it's just a very quick introduction. We're just going to show you a few images around the boat. And the goal is to show you why we chose that trailer, a Savage trailer. This is not a sponsored product. This is not a sponsored placement. Ben Savage actually helped us out and did a bloody amazing job building that trailer for us. And um, let's be honest, I'm not always easy to deal with. But he's come up with a magnificent product and we're about to put it to its first test. So let's see how she goes. Aluminium Savage Trailer, Beach Launching 101. We don't want that digging in the sand. Straps are off. Now this is a skid trailer, right? By design, not a roller, so I can actually sit on the skids without sliding off until we want it to come off. First thing we're going to do is unhitch everything. And the idea is we're just going to back it in with the car like normal and just drop it off the, into the water and I walk out with it. Should be that simple. Getting it off's the easy bit. Alright, so just to show you that it won't come off easy, I, I can't push that without a lot of it. So I'm going to leave the safety chain on there just for now. She is so OG. That's a wicked looking vessel. It's got a nice squat in the butt. Look at it. She hammers too. We'll do a whole video on her performance next. But right now, that's a serious lump of tin. Smoothly deployed first effort. Have a look at her. You understand why we've got this sort of boat now. The, the, the possibilities are endless. The beach launching we can do around the state and around the country, incredible. All right, so next challenge, we're gonna go back to the trailer and show you how we set up the trailer to pull it back in. All right. First thing you notice about this element trailer, it's not like all the other element trailers I've ever owned. It's anodized, so the theory being that in five years from now it will still look as good as the day we bought it. As, a, as opposed to normal untreated aluminium, age very quickly and got grey very easily and corrode very easily. Other thing we'll notice straight away, no welds. The whole thing is bolted together. What we've also learnt in the, in, the, in the trailer game in the last decade or so is that aluminium trailers as they came to power had a lot of problems with cracking. It was because everything was welded together and the flex on the road causes things to crack. So Ben has put this together completely by constructing it with bolts and clamps. So it's like a, a bulletproof trailer really, it can't, it can't crack anywhere. So it's got all, the, all the joints will flex now and not crack. So there's a lot of stainless componentry, a lot of gel componentry, a lot of alloy componentry. But one thing I'll notice is he's put the entire thing together with a thing called Duralac. Now Duralac is a yellow substance that you put on all the bolts and all the non-aluminium metals because what you don't want is two or three types of metals working together with electricity and salt water and causing what we call electrolysis, which causes it to corrode. So we have electrolysis proof bolts by putting Duralac on everything. It's like this yellow substance. You can see it right now on the, on the screen. Um, the next thing we'll talk about is it's a, it's a center roller, all right, but side skids. Now side skids means it supports the boat over a large area as opposed to rollers, which focus the energy into very small spots on the hull. Now an aluminium boat doesn't like small focus points or weight points or bearing points because it dents and, and damages the hull. So we've got the weight spread over a large five foot, six foot area on each side. Plus the keel is also the strongest part of an aluminium boat. So the bulk of the weight's taken down the keel roller still. So it's a skid roller trailer. And obviously the other one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, V's are there just for guiding it on for drive on trailer. We've done a lot of work at the ramps and she drives on first time every time, just brilliant, straight up to the, to the, to the post. Um, the other things we've got coming today, big I-beam, straight across the port, a 
whole axle set is, is fully gel. It's got leaf springs and the whole brake mechanisms, which are mechanical brakes on this one, all galvanized. So it's all marinized. Nothing, no shortcuts. But the most impressive thing I think for me, anodized, and he's made the effort to actually bolt everything together with Duralac. That's a that's a that's from the aeroplane industry, so planes don't corrode because anything that has dissimilar metals has electrical can't go into it, can have really serious electrolysis. The idea is here, we've separated the stainless from the aluminium, so no matter how much current goes through it, how much salt gets on it, it shouldn't corrode. We're just going to use the jockey wheel to get it off the car. Get up nice and high. Right. Back in. Like that. Alright. All the way. Now, I can literally push it into the sea. There you go, Dave. How easy was that? First effort. That's our practice run. And now I understand why we have that big wheel on the front. And why we've got this sort of boat. We can launch anywhere we want. And just out here, for instance, it's big kingfish and barrel tuna. Just there, six Ks. That's for another episode though. Hope you enjoyed launching with our brand new Savage A-Series aluminium anodized trailer. Thanks Dave. No worries going to give us good access to some new areas we'll be able to go off the grid thanks mate good work everyone next video we're going to do some serious testing in Tilly <laughs>